And sitting down with me now is one of the Flames' newest incoming recruits, Mac Ratzlaff. Mac, thanks for sitting down with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. So, Mac, tell us a little bit about not only where you're from, but also your hockey journey, how you got started in the game, and then also how you just progressed in your junior career. Yeah, so uh, I'm originally from Abbotsford, British Columbia, and we moved to Langley this last summer. Um, started playing hockey when I was about six or seven years old. My mom just signed me up for basically learn how to skate. And my dad played a little bit of soccer, so he really wanted me to play soccer. And okay. I'd be in the field and I just couldn't stop talking about hockey. So it was pretty clear that, that that's <laughs> kind of what I wanted to do. Um, so did that, played for my local association. Um, and then, yeah, I ended up playing juniors in Saskatchewan for three years. And small town, 4,200 people. Um, but just such a great, such a great situation for me to be in. Um, lots of opportunities to grow as a player. Um, and yeah, just, just the character there playing in smaller ranks with, uh, with smaller towns, you get some pretty awesome crowds and I had an amazing billet family. So it just allowed me to, uh, yeah, to just, to just build my game a lot more, be a little more physical. Um, so, yeah. And yeah, like you just said, you're from BC. So what was it about Lynchburg, Virginia that really <laughs> sold you on it? Cause you could have probably stayed in Canada or even picked a more team that's closer to the border, but yeah, you decided to come all the way here to Virginia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, uh, it was interesting. I, so I kind of had a couple, couple of different options, a couple of different schools I was looking at and uh, obviously talked to Kirk, talked to Jeff and uh, they, I ended up flying down there and toured. Um, so when it came time to decision, I think I wanted to make a decision by like, let's say like February 1st. And I remember flying down there and I don't, I don't know what it was, but I just felt so at peace about it there. And, uh, so I tried to, I, you know, I went to my other offers, I played the movie and I was like, Hey, what does this look like when I go here? And every other school I imagined myself doing that to, or, or going to, um, I just couldn't get the thought of what am I missing out at, at Liberty? And when mm -hmm. I do that with Liberty, I didn't have, I, I, there was no fear of missing out. So I think I called, I called Kirk like halfway through January and I'm like, I know where I want to play. I want to go to Liberty. So, um, yeah, it was exciting. And, and obviously, I mean, I feel like everything that Liberty does is to the highest possible standard, whether it be athletics, academics, or, or, or growing in faith. And I think those are the three biggest components of my life. So it made it a, a fairly easy decision when it came down to it. Well, that's awesome. And yeah, let's talk a little bit. Obviously, you know, you're coming in with a big class that I'm sure you met some of those guys at prospect yeah. camp. Can you talk a little about your class? Because a lot of people are excited about uh, the group of guys you're coming in with because they feel like your group is like helping Liberty, not in a rebuilding year, but more so you guys are just retooling and uh, still will have a chance at pushing for a national title. Yeah, I mean, obviously, obviously, that's the goal. Uh, I got to talk to Michael DeBrito quite a bit, um, just because he played in the Manitoba Junior Hockey League. So like the province right over from Saskatchewan, where I played. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think it's a good group coming in. Um, actually, uh, Liam Cox Smith as well. He played in, in the Saskatchewan League for a bit. And yeah, I think we're going to bring a lot of speed uh, and some physicality. And I think, yeah, it's it's not I wouldn't considered a rebuilding year i think we got some pretty pretty cool pretty awesome players coming in um and yeah i think fans should expect a lot of skill and and lots of goals next year oh yeah i can't like to hear that so yeah talking about you got to know some of the guys and like uh we interviewed mike debrito and he said he's been talking to you a lot so like i asked him this question so i'm gonna ask you is there two guys you're hoping that you get a chance to be on a line together for this first coming year Ooh, um, yeah, so at Prospect Camp, uh, I was on a line with Callendike and, and I can't remember who else. Uh, I, I, Callendike, I really enjoy playing with him, uh, and Debrito. Okay. I would say. Those would be my, those would be my two. Yeah. Nice. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Maybe well, true. Too. Maybe true it. <laughs> Yeah, so speaking of uh, next year, I'm sure you've seen the schedule. Is there a game in particular you're really excited about uh, for this upcoming year? Oh, it's a good question. I mean, so when I toured, I went to a Midnight Mayhem game. So I'm excited okay. for I'm excited for those. 
Um, but I think I'm most excited for the first game just because, you know, first game of, of college hockey, uh, mm. kind of get my feet wet and, and feel it out. I think I'm just most excited for that game. And um, I guess most excited for the last game, which is hopefully playing in the national championship. So, yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> um all right well we've done kind of like those uh formal questions now i'm gonna do some quick rapid fires with the hey. to get to know you a little more yeah. uh so talk about what, who's your favorite nhl team and your favorite player well it has to be the best team in the nhl the vancouver canucks uh um, oh there we go yeah <laughs> i mean i have to uh we've been through thick and thin together and uh obviously just dis- disappointing run this year but uh i would say that's such a tough question. Favorite player, I'm going to go with uh, kind of a Jesper Bratt on the New Jersey Devils. I wouldn't necessarily compare myself to him, but I think he's really entertaining to watch. Okay. Uh, if you could play a sport other than hockey, what would it be? Golf, 100%. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, this is a random one, but I saw it somewhere, so I was like, I have to ask yeah. you. All right, yeah. so you're set now in the world of Pokemon, and you're about to start oh. your Pokemon journey. You have a choice between a Bulbasaur, Squirtle, uh, what's the other one, Charizard, or Pikachu. Who are you taking? You know what? I, I didn't necessarily play a lot of Pokemon, but I, I think Charizard. I think it's a no-brainer. That's right. So oh, he yeah. said, I like fi- starting fires. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then uh, if you could pick a superpower, what would it be and why? Ooh, uh, super speed. Uh, oh. yeah, yeah. I think, uh, I don't know. I've, I've thought of this question quite a bit and I, I just think that with super speed, you'd be able to, there's so many different avenues you can go down with that. There's so many different ways that you can use that power. It's very multifaceted compared to, you know, being invisible or flying. Okay. I like that. Um, uh, and then, uh, last question too, uh, obviously I know you're excited for this upcoming season, um, but whether it's hockey related or non-hockey related, what's something you're really looking forward to for this year? I think just meeting lots of new people. Um, I went to boarding school grades nine through 12, and then obviously played three years in Saskatchewan. So I've been, uh, out of the house for about seven years now, kind of on and off. Mm-hmm. And I've gotten to meet some really, really cool people and form some awesome relationships. So I think just continuing that down in uh, in Lynchburg, I think it's really exciting and I'm really looking forward to it. Well, awesome. Thanks, Mac, for sitting down with us. And yeah, we're looking really forward to having you down here in the fall. Of course, yeah, thank you. Really appreciate it.